Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about how to use PLL block in MATLAB. So PLL nothing but a face locked loop block. So that is going to be used for uh, measuring the frequency and the phase angle with respect to time. Okay. So PLL uh, for electric engineering, right? So we are using an uh, grid inverter control or the PLL going to be used for uh, grid synchronization. So when we are going to use uh, uh, that means when we are going to integrate PV with the uh, grid via inverter, right? So we need to make some uh, synchronization with the grid uh, with that of inverter. So for that we need to use PLL. So here I am going to explain how to use the PLL block in MATLAB. So in MATLAB you can see that uh, there is two options is there. So one is for a single phase and another one is for a three phase. Okay. So when you type PLL here you will see that right. Uh, so this one is for PLL or single phase system and this is for a three phase system. So you have to check the response right. So you have to check the response of this PLL. So we need a source. So for that I am going to Simlink browser and then uh, go to Simscape and then comes to power system and then here you will see that control machine 1. So here you can see that pulse and signal generator right. So here I am going to use this three phase generator. So for uh, uh, giving input for the PL okay. So it will be create a, a three phase output based upon a magnitude, phase angle and frequency. So here I am going to provide input for that uh, three phase sine wave generator. So input will be I am uh, providing uh, amplitude will be one and then frequency I am here I am going to fixing uh, which is equal to 50 hertz and then phase angle here I am going to fix uh, 0 degree. Okay. So here you can see that the based upon uh, this values right uh, amplitude phase angle and then uh, frequency so it will generate uh, uh, three phase sinusoidal waveform right with that amplitude okay so here i am going to directly connect this uh, output of this uh, three phase generator to the three phase PLL and then here we are going to measure the frequency and the phase angle with respect to time so that means uh, what's the angle the angle of the term uh, three phase sine wave with respect to time how it will be changed okay so that can be measured here uh, for single phase input right here i'm going to use uh, d max okay and then output will be three because so here we are getting so the input will be three right output will be so here we are getting the output so i'm going to use only one output for a uh, are testing the single phase PL. So next I am going to use scope right. So here I am going to consider two scope. So one is for omega t, another one is for a uh, frequency. And this is for frequency and this is for a uh, omega t. And then here I am going to use two layout not to check the frequency and the omega t in the separate window so everything will be set up so we need to check the detail so here when you click PLL so here you have to provide the I mean we have default value right minimum frequency and then initial frequency and then a regulator given everything right so this model right, uh, right it will be uh, added to an automatic name okay so based upon a uh, uh, input right so no need to do anything in, the, in this settings right so only change you, you can provide here is 50 hertz so depends upon your system frequency you can make, fix the initial frequency of the PLL will be 50 hertz okay so in the remaining thing uh, I think it will be uh, tuned automatically okay so no need to do anything that more uh, block right and then here you can also change the initial frequency which is equal to 50 hertz okay and also here uh, 
we know that frequency will be 50 hertz so we need to check the omega t so omega t should follow that 50 hertz uh, pattern right so we need to check the detail so here i am going to simulate this model so here you can see the frequency of the single phase system right is 50 hertz okay so from the scope window right so it's almost maintain 50 hertz okay and then you can see the pattern of omega t phase angle with respect to time so that is also follow the that uh, 50 hertz uh, frequency time right so 50 means 1 by 50 so which is equal to 0 0.002 okay so you can see that uh, pattern right sorry 0 0.2 not 0 0.002 it is 0 0.02 so here you can see that the phase angle will be vary from 0 to 6 point something right that means 2 into pi so 2 into 3.14 so it will be something 6 point something 6.2 right so it will be increased from 0 to 6.2 and then again it comes to 0 right and then once it uh, reaches 6.2 you can see that time will be 0 0.02 that means the phase angle for the single cycle so it take from 0 degree and to up to 2 pi right again it comes to 0 degree and goes to 2 pi with the uh, change in that uh, that means with, with respect to that uh, input voltage ac waveform okay and also we need to check the detail for a uh, three phase also so this is uh, so this is the output of three phase so here also you can see that the frequency is right like, maintain it at uh, 50 hertz okay and also you can see the pattern of omega t that means phase angle with respect to time right it start from 0 and goes to 6.2 at the time of 0 0.02 that means uh, for one cycle it complete the uh, that means start the degree from 0 degree and complete to 2 pi uh, with the time of 0 0.02 seconds so it follow that frequency so I am going to change the frequency now here I am going to change the frequency frequency to uh, 100 okay so next you have to check the result so 100 means 1 by 100 so which is equal to uh, 0 0.01 right so omega d should follow 0 0.01 seconds sorry now you can see that right so and also here right so here you need to change the initial frequency so that only you will get better result so here you have to change frequencies 100 and then check the detail so now you can see that right we are getting almost that uh, frequency rate variation right almost uh, around 100 hertz and then you can see the pattern of that uh, omega t right it follow that uh, start from 0 and change up to 6.2 the time of 0 0.01 second so 0 0.01 second nothing but uh, which is equal to 100 hertz right so when you have to use PLL right so we must change that initial uh, frequency so then, then only so we will get the better results from the PLL ok so the PLL right so most important thing in the uh, integration of uh, grid with the PV inverter so for uh, better synchronization ok so this is the working of uh, PLL so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe to the channel and also click the bell icon for notification for upcoming videos thank you so, thank you so much bye bye